Hi folks, thanks for joining us on this video. If you're new here, I'm Willie. And I'm Sarah. We're a musician and artist and at the end of last year we moved to a nearly 200 year old cottage on the Isle of Skye in the Scottish Highlands with our dog, Jack Spaniels. This week we show you how our cottage has been transformed since we moved our studio spaces into the recently renovated outbuilding. Also we put our relationship to the test assembling the dreaded flat packed furniture. Plus we take some time out to explore the glen both above and below the water. Join, Join us, us as, as we continue, continue. Live in the sky life We're in the spare room and the reason we're in the spare room is that we're getting a delivery today of lots of flat pack furniture. Such joy for me to put together. I'll help. Are you really going to help? Yeah, I'll do that. I have a slight confession here guys. We're getting this stuff from Ikea and I love Ikea. I don't like Ikea at all. I'm compromising because it's the spare bedroom. Just a bit disappointed that we had to get it delivered and couldn't go to an Ikea. Oh no, that wouldn't happen. That is like the best day out for me. I love it. The meatballs, I can sort of get on board with. Going to Ikea though, it's akin to sort of slamming your hands <clears throat> in a drawer. <laughs> we used to go as a kid, like before Christmas, and get the things of Christmas presents and the food shop at the end, you get really nice chocolate in the food shop. I think that's probably why. I'm so glad that we didn't have to go to Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we've just ordered this and hoping for the best, so... It's the spare room though, so I'm not that bothered about it. Anyway, they'll be here soon, so uh, let's get ready for them. Get this room totally cleared out and rocking. We have a delivery! So let's get out of the boxes built up in the spare room. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, that's all the stuff that's going in the spare room. The other stuff we put out in the buyer, but we'll come back to that later. First thing though, is I'm going to get this stuff unboxed and get it built up. But Sarah, apparently, I didn't think she was going to help me, but she is. Happy days. Putting together this bed was definitely a two-person job. We played to our strengths, me reading the instructions and Willie putting the screws in. We had a few hiccups along the way, but we got there in the end and we were still on speaking terms by the time we finished. trying out the bed to make sure it's comfy. It's pretty comfy. Might just stay here. Unfortunately, I have to go do some editing now. Otherwise we don't have a video this week. And I've got to build a big wardrobe and all that sort of stuff. Lots of stuff needs to happen. Yeah. It's too hot. It's too hot for I know, it's too hot for everything. It's too hot <laughs> just to... <laughs> all we want to do is take Jack Spaniels and go swim in the river, but... It's too hot for that for him. Hey pups. That's as far as you go. You don't get on the new bed, okay? No, no don't look at Dad. You don't get to go on the bed. It's not for you. No. It's not for Spaniels. <clears throat> Especially not for Spaniels. Well, that's the bed done. I think that's going to be the biggest job of all the furniture to put together. So now we're having a break, we're having some lunch out in the sunshine because it is another scorching day and we're having a BLT with added halloumi and Tabasco mayonnaise. Is that mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's one of Willie's inventions. It's pretty good. We have a bed in a spare room, but we need a wardrobe and Sarah's got a chip on with editing. So that means that I've got to now build a wardrobe myself. That should be fun. I've got to use my brain as well as my hands now. <laughs> oh no. Now 
There we are. It's a bedroom again. It's not a studio anymore. It's a lovely little comfy bedroom. This bed pulls out into two. We've got storage underneath. We've got the wardrobe over here, which is great. We can put lots of extra clothes in there. And if guests are coming to stay, we'll take them out and let them use it. It's amazing having this room, this spare room for people that we care about to come and see us. Yeah, such a difference. And we can just use this as well. So we won't be tripping over our laundry every time yeah. we do it in the winter. So yeah, that'd be amazing. We're gonna put some, maybe my artwork or prints or stuff on the walls to make it a little bit more homely and nice. Bring a bit of color to it. So it looks a lot more homely than it did though, when it was just printers everywhere and like constant printing and packaging, etc. <laughs> it's so nice to have a spare room again. And uh, Jack, no. Not for you. Not on the bed. You've got plenty of beds all over the place. So, uh, who's going to stay? Yeah. <laughs> maybe don't ask that question to the to internet. To the internet, yeah, yeah, maybe not. Some of our friends, I'm sure, will be coming soon. going kayaking you're gonna see us on the water i'm gonna go under the water too submarine footage not in a submarine also we'll have the drone up and we'll have the gopro on board as well so this should be great fun let's go kayaking yeah. right outside our house let's do it who's this handsome boy in his life jacket hey jack you ready to go kayaking as you can see, it was the perfect day for kayaking. We wanted to take Jack back out on the water as he hadn't been in the kayak since last year and we wanted to make sure that he was comfortable. Turns out we needn't have worried. Jack loves the kayak and he loves the water. We planned to head over to the point on the other side of the loch, but Jack wanted to be at the front of the kayak, so Sarah was having to restrain him. So we headed back to the shore to swap positions. And of course, Jack Spaniels got his own way as always. Hey! Bye, hey! Jack! Yay! Well, that makes rowing easier anyway. There we go. Cool, well done. Ooh. I'm going for a swim. Hi, bleach my own hair, never gonna do it, always gonna get professionals to do it. Uh, wait, you're not, I am. I've been hired because of my extensive training in hairdressing, of which I have none whatsoever. 
Uh, yeah, I was trying to find a hairdresser on Sky. I just didn't manage to find anyone who was nearby or had an opening or could do colour. On a whim, I bought some bleach and I've not plucked up the courage, but today we are doing it. And because I can't do the back of my hair, <laughs> someone is gonna have to help out. Sounds oh like great gosh. fun. This seemed like such a good idea a few weeks ago when I was buying it. And it's now, a terrible idea. Now it seems like a really bad idea. It's an awful idea, let's do it anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong, right? Before we get started, where are you going on your holidays? Isn't the weather unpredictable right now? And what do you think of the Prime Minister? Unbelievable. Cut out. So this is the section we're starting with. And mm -hmm. we're gonna go from the bottom, little layers like that, little sections. The top third, I want nice. to leave natural. And then the bottom third, yeah, yeah. I want to be covered in bleach. Right, gotcha, let's go. And then the middle bit, you have this brush and you sort of paint it and blend it. All right. You get the theory? Easy. Just want to apologise to any hairdressers watching, and especially Lisa, who used to do my hair in five. I've just had a thought. The oh. only thing that could enhance this experience for me is to start drinking booze. No! Yeah, oh, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. No, this, this will make it more fun. So, we're going to have some lager. Cheers, everyone. It is the afternoon, I promise. It's also a Saturday. It's a Saturday, and we finished work for the week. We're going to time lapse Let's the time whole lapse. thing. Let's time lapse. So that you can not maybe see all the mistakes we make. We had to work quickly as the bleach could easily overdevelop and cause my hair to break off. I was sectioning out my hair as we went and Willie was applying the bleach and layering the hair in sheets of tin foil. Thanks to a quick YouTube tutorial by Brad Mondo and a very detailed diagram that I drew for him, Willie seemed to know what he was doing. But I was still pretty nervous about how it would turn out. Willie has finished. I was actually going to try and do the front pieces myself, but he, uh, he insisted. He insisted that he should uh, do the whole thing to keep it uniform and even all the way around, which hopefully it is. <laughs> We've got foils on, as you can tell, which helps it develop quicker and keeps it from drying out. And looks cool. And looks really cool. Mm -hmm. I really, honestly don't know how this is going to work out, but it should be fine. I did a test strand with the bleach before we did this, so hopefully it's not all going to break off. Well, we'll find out, eh? We'll find out. We didn't film the first one, folks, because we were too nervous. Just getting the bleach out. See the blending there? That's where I went in with the brush on its side. I don't know why I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's silly. But uh, it seems to have done the job. What do you got there? We've got a tiny bit left of the mixture. All right. You're not going to let me bleach your beard? No. A tiny bit? No. Leopard print? No. I don't get to have any of the fun. <laughs> okay, last one. Let's do this. I used to bleach more in here when I was in punk bands. <laughs> this is how he knows how to do it, guys. Yeah, I used to dye my beard and dye it green. Yeah, <laughs> my 18th birthday. I spent in a Dalmatian print velvet jacket with um, a green beard. That is way more far out than my 18th birthday. <laughs> is that kind of how it looks when you get it done normally? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. I'm really happy with this. It's really light and it doesn't seem to be falling off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shampoo it properly and then I'm going to put in some colour because I'm not leaving it like this. Wow, cool. Exciting. Final result. I have to say, we're pretty pleased with this. She took a while getting it all sorted and dyed and stuff, and I had a little nap on the sofa. <laughs> I just got woken up by Sarah going, look, it looks great, and it does. It looks really good. It really does. I, I actually can't believe how good this looks. <laughs> Neither can I. I think it's the tenants. <laughs> You're hired. I'm hired. You're hired. Oh. So there we go. At home, Balayage. I can't even say the word. Balayage. Dip balayage. Dye. Dip dye. You're a balayage expert I'm an now. Expert, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mwah.
Right, Jack next. I know a lot of you will probably think, oh, I should have just kept my natural hair colour. Hey, life is too short to have boring hair. Sometimes you just gotta do stuff that makes you happy. I think Amazing. it's pretty good. You did a good job. Thank you. I'd high five you, but you've got a spat nail, so. Yeah. Mwah. Don't worry, we're not gonna dye your hair, Jack, but you do need a haircut. I don't need it. <laughs> Thanks. Well You're done. Welcome. <laughs> Snorkeling? Yeah. No adventure too big for living the sky life, eh? Is it cold? Yeah. Go on, Willie. You can get in there. Oh, oh. Off he goes. No, no, no. Oh dear. Incoming! <laughs> Come on then, monkey. This way. Like Ursula Andres, gracefully coming out of the water. How was that? Great fun. Absolutely loved it. It's a bit cold now though, so I put this back on just to warm up a little bit. Be fine in a minute. Got a wetsuit on and uh, it's warm enough today, so I should be fine. I saw loads of sand eels and I hope they came over on the GoPro footage. I was on super view, which means I'm zoomed quite far out, so I hope you can see them. But I could see them, there was thousands of them just all swimming around me. It was absolutely amazing. But it shows that the system's pretty good here because uh, there's just so many fish. There's thousands and thousands of these sand eels, it's lovely. But yeah, you gonna try it? Um, yeah, I might, I might just have a swim, I don't know. I'm... You don't like snorkeling, do you? No. Yeah, putting my head underwater and breathing through a snorkel is not really my favorite thing. It makes me panic a bit, I don't know why. Like it's just unnatural for me to be breathing underwater. So I don't really like doing it. So I might just have a little dip and we'll see how it goes. Jack's having a big dip. He's off. He's off, look. Jack is a really strong swimmer, but with the life vest on as well, we're not worried about him. He'll be fine. No. But he doesn't really like going out of his depth. I don't either. <laughs> he also worries about us when we go in the water. One of us has to stay with him on the shore each time. Otherwise he gets a bit anxious. <laughs> Thank you.
Captain Jack. He's ready. <laughs> Graceful. Belly flop. <laughs> <laughs> he can't just wait, can he? Hey, that was, was like fun. Time landing a boat. That was good fun. All right. Woo, hey, it. it? It's good fun. We were over there. That's a tuckered out spaniel. <laughs> Too much swimming. It's been over six months since we moved here to Skye, which is incredible because it feels like that has just flown past. But we have done a lot in that time. We've built the shed, we've converted the buyer into our two studios, and we showed you around our finished studios last week. But now we want to show you what the house looks like now that it's just our home. It's no longer got our studio spaces, it's no longer got printing equipment and laptops, and we have so much more space. So we're gonna show you what we've done with it. All right, let's go inside. Welcome. Other than a new welcome mat, we haven't really done much in the hallway. In the bedroom, again, we've not done much, but we have so much more space here now that there's a certain tartan chair been moved into Willie's studio. So the chair was basically taking up all of this space, blocking the access to the wardrobe, blocking our laundry, getting in the way and encouraging Willie to put all of his clothes on it and make a mess. It just feels a lot more open and calmer in here now that we've got rid of it. We still haven't put a lot of stuff on the walls yet in the house and we want to put something above the bed, I think, because there's a big empty space there. There's so many amazing artists who live here on Sky that it would be nice to find some artwork now that we're here that sort of reflects our experience on Sky. So maybe a really beautiful landscape painting or something. So we'll keep an eye out. We have got one thing on the wall and that is a old ordnance survey map of Fife, where I'm from. It's quite big, but it's too small for that whole wall. So eventually that'll probably come down, but for now it's serving its purpose. This is my space where I get ready. Actually, both the mirrors belong to Willie, but they're really lovely antique mirrors. So um, they go really nicely in the old cottage. And I've got a few more things on the wall that I got from my travels. So these are actually vintage travel guides from Italy for India, New Zealand, and England. Shh, don't tell I found in a charity shop in Venice, actually, when I was working there. So you've got my side, this side, this side's Willie's, and then in the middle, we'll try and buy something that we both like. Now for the room that's probably had the biggest change, which is the spare room and used to be my studio. Early in the video, you would have seen us building the bed and the wardrobe, and it obviously looked pretty plain and bare at that point but now we've had a chance to finish it and make it a bit more homely and we think it's a really nice place for our guests to come and stay. These paintings were on the wall anyway, but we've just kept them up because they're quite good in the space, they're a bit of colour and it stops it being quite so echoey in here. Hopefully our guests like them. These are some of my trophies from when I used to do rowing when I was a teenager into university. It feels like a long time ago now. For me, the biggest thing about this whole renovation was getting the living room back as a living room because it was a living room and it was also my workspace so you could never really shut off. I'm talking about a music studio and editing suite in our living room. It was crazy. So let's have a look at the difference. Let's check it out. You may remember that over here was my desk and I had speakers on it, a seat facing this way. It was my workspace and this room never really felt like a proper place you could switch off and relax, which is what a living room should be. Look at the difference, it's amazing. So this is where we relax now. It's not where I sit and work every day. Up here, there used to be the finds cabinet for my metal detecting finds. It juts out too much, so it would just be in the way, so I decided to move that. Over here is my finds cabinet with all the interesting items that are in there. This sideboard was made in Kirkcaldy back in the 1960s, I think. Macintosh made in Kirkcaldy. But what I found out, which is quite interesting, is that this unit is actually called the Dunvegan, and Dunvegan is in Sky. It was made in Kirkcaldy and we brought it to Sky. How funny is that? I just think that's quite cool. My treasure trove finds certificate to say that I found a gold ring from the Tudor period, which I handed into the museum. 
and I got that certificate and I've got another one on the way as well which I'm looking forward to receiving a lot. A large hand blown bottle that Sarah's granddad made into a lamp which is awesome, I love that. And this is the other seat like the one that I've got out in the studio now. We had two when we moved in so we kept them. So we sit on the sofa and then I guess whoever it is comes and sits here and if more people come well pff, I'll just sit on the floor. And then obviously we've got the log burner which you'll have seen before. Not getting a lot of use at the moment, although we did have a visitor come down the chimney. Oh yeah, the starling. We had a starling inside who fell down the chimney. Yeah. And we had to close all the curtains. And then open it in the morning. Let it fly out. <laughs> these are some of my old bottles as well in the window. And these are paintings that are dead of the bottles as well, which you can buy prints on Etsy for if you wanted to. For anyone that's interested, the cherry tree has been repotted in one of the flower pots from the rope is collected on the beaches around Scotland. The layout of the room was a bit controversial to me at first. Sarah gets really used to things. She was used to sitting on this side, but I couldn't sit like this. I found, because we were sitting here, the sofa was here, and I found when I was sitting watching the telly at this angle, I was getting a pain in the neck, and it was a pain in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it, for me, it was a natural thing to do to sit look straight forwards at the TV rather than sit and watch the telly like this. Once we had it laid out, I got used to it and it's fine now, I like it, but this corner still feels a bit unfinished. We need something up here. This is all part of the process. When you move in somewhere, it's not going to be exactly as you want it right away. It's exciting, it's good fun looking for things to put on the walls. Mm -hmm. And we will find them, there'll be something beautiful up there. Let us know in the comments if you have any ideas as to what we could put up there. a big change here. We had a unit, like one of those plastic units that you build yourself. We came up to here and it was all full of plastic boxes and really by and large you couldn't get out here because there was all those cardboard boxes and stuff in the way. You couldn't even use this door. Now this is all clear because it's all out in the shed and you can go out that way too. Before we go into the bathroom, we'd just like to point out. Yeah, I found that on the bottom of an old crate. It's just to show which way it goes up, I just thought that was funny. So I cut the ends off and we nailed it to the door of the bathroom. <laughs> we haven't made any major changes in here, apart from possibly the world's biggest bathroom cabinet. Yet again, I ordered this. I'm not entirely sure that sizing is my strong point, as it's slightly bigger than I thought it was going to be. But all of the stuff that was on here, cluttering up this, all of our spare toiletries and stuff is now in here. We've just got a couple of things here that we might put on some shelves. Hint, hint. Oh yeah, the shelves that I haven't built yet. Uh-huh, yeah. I've got other shelves to build, <laughs> build before then and they're bigger. But yeah, no, I think it's great because it clears this whole windowsill and it basically reflects the light back in. So it's essentially like a second window into the bathroom. So yep. it makes it a much lighter space. So I'm happy with that. Likewise in the kitchen, we didn't really make many changes because it was a really nice kitchen anyway, but we've just sort of filled it with more of our stuff. We've got all of our magnets out. And we've added a few to the collection since we've been here, which is all, again, little trinkets and places we've been. And we've just got a few kitchen gadgets, really. We've got our coffee machine. You might have seen that in another video. So we're really liking our espresso coffee from that in the mornings. We also caved to societal pressure and got an air fryer. It's ace though. They're really, really good, really useful and they don't burn as much electricity. So I'm happy we bought that. That was mostly Willie's idea. I took a bit of convincing because I did. I don't like buying into stuff that lots of other people like apparently. I didn't know if it was going to be a bit gimmicky, but I'm actually really glad we got it. Back in Fife, we never really bought stuff for the house for ourselves because we knew we weren't going to be there forever, so A, it was more things to move when we did eventually move, and B, we didn't know if it would fit into where we moved into, so this is us really making this a home. enjoyed that tour of our home as it is now. It's crazy to think that we've been here over six months now. Oh, that right. has just flown past. We really feel like we've made this place a proper home, especially now that we've got rid of all of our work stuff into the buyer. 
we have that completely separate space for us to get on with work and then when we come back in the house it's literally just for relaxing and enjoying our time here on Sky. Yep, living, living the Sky life in a living room and not an office. That's it for this week. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do leave us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe to our channel because it really does help us out and it's free to do. And if you wanted to, you could pop over to Kofi and buy us a coffee or buy Jack a tree. And that really helps contribute towards this channel, keeping the videos going, and then we don't have to pay for everything by ourselves. If you want to help us out more long term, you can do that over on Patreon and become one of our amazing patrons. You get a bunch of extra content for helping us out every month. If you want to buy a print of any my paintings you can do that over on my etsy store and the link to all these pages is in the video description Hello. thanks so much again for watching and we will see you next week oh, restart week Living our suburban life, moving over the sea to sky. Are we chasing a dream? I guess in time we will see when we're living the sky life. Living the sky life. Ay, 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 don't get any ideas, mister. Okay, then you get Jack. Then you get Pops. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Stay down. Good boy. Good boy. He's going to jump up as soon as he stops. Yeah, he is. Okay, you ready? Ow. Why don't you bleach my toe here? Ugh. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Good boy. Cut no. Queuing down the glen if this goes well, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Very reasonable rates. Do you approve of this? Do you approve? Do you like it? Oh! Oh, he just clawed me in the belly button. Is he just swimming? He's, he's bringing us to the shore. Jack, he's taking us to the shore. <laughs> Take the stick off him. Drop it now. Let go, Jack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, how are you doing? Poor boy. Hey, monkey. Right, you're going to jump up on me, aren't you? I know we take you out for walkies after this, okay? No adventure big enough for us. No adventure too big enough. No adventure too big for... What are we called? Live, live in the Sky, sky life. life? Click here to subscribe to Live in the Sky Life. Click here to go back to the start of our adventures with our very first episode.